Hey, how's it going friends? My name is Angel Alex and welcome back to the channel. Today, you guys, we are gonna be starting a brand new series. We are gonna be playing some LA Noir. I can't believe I haven't played this game. It's a Rockstar game and I, you know, we've played a lot of Rockstar games on the channel. And I guess by a lot, I mean two, but you know, I, I love Rockstar. <laughs> so yeah, this is the only Rockstar game I have yet to play. I'm super excited to be playing this with you guys and bring you guys along on the journey. I've heard a couple of things about this game. I know it's a detective game, but I've also heard that you really have to dig deep with this game. Otherwise you won't get a great outcome. Like you have to get every clue or otherwise you're like fucked or something. I'm not exactly sure. That's what I've, oops, I just hit the mic. That's what I've just heard. But, um, but I'm glad I'm bringing you guys along with me so you guys can help me out. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Oh, before this video starts, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in any of the gear I use. All right, let's do this. Now, I know this game is old. We'll see how well it looks. Based not on the man, but on the automobile, the car, the symbol of freedom and vitality. playing a lot of games like this, you know, the whole Mafia series. Building a better California. Oh my god, Red Dead. City of dreams. Or Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. The city of pioneers. Faces look pretty good. A city of undercurrents. God, this just makes me think about Bully a little bit. And if Bully was updated, oh my god, remastered. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. So much fun. We just need to make a Bully too already. But I bet you, after I play this, I'm gonna want like an LA Noir two or something. <laughs> Stretch as far as the eye can see. Beautiful. Remind me of Mafia. In the Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for, that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the path. Whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I made up my mind a long time ago. Where the popo? -po? KGPL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective. An ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request uniform assistance for an evidence search. 14 Adam, go to. Roger, 14 Adam en route. Ooh, let's go. I'm, a, I'm the police. Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. I didn't realize where I was going. Okay, we're gonna go this way. <laughs> Our one to hand break. Destination is marked with the yellow icon. Okay. Here we go. I'll wait, crime scene, alley, alley, wait, crime scene, 10, 11 p.m. Four rows, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male bagged up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. 
I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want us to look anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if we recover the weapon? Bag it and return it to technical services. You're hurrying up, Floyd. We got I'm a place here. to be. Happy hunting. Why are they being so aggressive? Just asking questions. All right. This is a fist hump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. All right, have it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. All right. Two heads are always better than one. You're right, you're right. Okay. Search locations thoroughly to discover clues. All right, well, we can look in. A musical fade down to indicate that all clues at the location have been discovered. Look at this. Ah, musical chimes, wireless. Wait, I'm not done. Thing. It's not my job to pick through other people's trash. What did it say about square? Press square when what? Jesus. Cole, come take a look at this. Oh shit! Did the cops miss this. Chime or a magnifying glass icon indicates objects. I didn't read it. All right, well let's investigate. <clears throat> New clue. Shooter put him up against Let's the wall and blew his brains out. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't get all deep on me, Phelps. Found clues will be added to your notebook. God, they're like moving so quickly to open notebook. All right. Swipe down. All right. To close, we got clues, blood stain. All right, it's like Nathan, Nathan Drake's. Uh, okay, inspect an object. Oh shit, the gun's right there. Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? A reflection in the window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. All right, don't hurt yourself. All right. Stark. The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. Not all objects are relevant to your investigation, okay. Of course, they're gonna dupe us like that. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Building looks vacant. I don't want to wait around all night for the super to let us in. Is there a way up from the outside? Damn, these are some hardcore cops. All right, here we are. We found the weapon. Guy didn't do a very good job of hiding it. Serial S71893. Nice. Two rounds fired. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. Hmm. I feel like I'm gonna fuck this up, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna miss everything. We follow up on this now before the perp tries to leave town. Alright, so you wanna go after him? Now? We have the gun, Cole. Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. We could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. All right. Use a notebook to set your next destination. Locations. Gun store. Set a destination. I like this. I like Are this you sure so about far. This? It's not really our gig. No harm in doing some digging. What? The suits didn't seem to give this much guy. I don't like this Such guy. A boy scout, Cole. I'm calling you it now. Get out of that uniform, can you? Oh my god, I don't You'd like him. Round up drunks and help old ladies across the road. I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. I don't like this guy already. 
Something tells me he's gonna betray us or something. I'm calling it now. I don't know if I want to leave yet. I want to make sure we got everything. Newspapers provide backstory on events which may or may not be related to your current investigation. Dr. Fontaine, could I have a word? Of course, young man. I really enjoyed your lecture, doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive they look so realistic. The mind oh is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon, or Courtney Sheldon. I'm only in second year, doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. Uh, That's what I wanted to talk to you about. Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say yes. Given the right set of circumstances, trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. And we try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hands, Shiv. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. A good friend of mine, he's so far away. It's like he's wandering around. You went through a lot together. Yes, doctor. You know, I need the subtitles. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Sheldon. And your penance, for your friend's help, is to come and work at one of them in your spare time with what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I, I can't thank you enough. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. Hmm. This was in the paper. Wake up, Cole. All right. Not another bottle. There's a lot of these bottles around here. Maybe if no. All right, newspaper collected. Probably nothing. All right. Well, before we get any more into this, on. All right. Well, I think we've looked everywhere. I don't know, I could be missing. I'm not exactly sure how in detail they go with everything. But, um. The music has stopped, so I'm assuming we're good. Right? Alright, well, let's head to our next location the gun, gun store. Gonna use these sirens to our advantage. Ooh, this car moves quick. Okay. Gun store, 10.32 p.m. Central guns. All right, should we look around? I don't think I'll need to look around. Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson, Model 27, registered Magnum. Chambered for 357, nickel plated with pearl grips. Same gun used by General Pat. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner? No, I'm not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know, this piece will stop a rhino. These babies, 
are only available special order. Ah. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. You mind if I take a look? Be my guest. All right, well, he's this being about helpful. something bad, right? All right, swipe left or press X. Model 27 with pearl grips, Cole. You see it on there? 27 pearl grips. I don't. Ah, here we go. We're in luck, Errol Schroeder. 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Well, he's a nice guy. Thank you, sir. Alrighty. Do we call it in? Let's see if he's at home. Owning the gun doesn't prove he pulled the trigger. Okay. In for a penny, in for a pound. Lead the way, Gunga Den. <laughs> All right. Let's figure out where we need to go. Schroeder's apartment. All right. Off we go. Now that wasn't so hard, was it? Just because we're in uniform doesn't mean we can't use our initiative. I guess so. Seems a little too good to be true. One of a kind murder weapon bought locally using a real name. If Schroeder's our shooter, he's no criminal mastermind. Most of them aren't. That's why they get caught. Two out of every three crimes are done on impulse. Another fact from the Phelps Encyclopedia of Thin Air. We really are full of it. All right. Schroeder's apartment. 10.54 p.m. Moxley's. Again, I kind of want to look around before we just get in, right? But... The music hasn't gone. Oh. No, that's not music. That's the horn. <laughs> okay, so I think we're, we're good just to go in. There we go. Inspect the mailbox. He's apartment number two. Schroeder, apartment two. All right, up we go. So I guess, yeah, we do want to kind of listen to the music. Let us know when we can start investigating, when there's still clues, all that good stuff. What do you guys want? I'm Officer Cole Phelps. This is Officer Dunn, Wilshire Division. You're the owner of a Smith & Wesson Model 27, nickel-plated with pearl grips? I might be. What of it? Then you'll be surprised to know that Scooter Payton was murdered tonight with your gun. You're out of your mind. Scooter, he works for me. I have that gun here in my drawer. What the fuck is going on here? You're under arrest, Schroeder. Cuff him, Ralph. No way. You're not taking me down for this. Oh. Well, you ready, see. tough guy? Let's go, bitch. Uh, that was a very bad... Is all you got, bitch? Ah. Uh, I do this all day. Oh. Yeah. Ralph, you all right? I'm fine. I hardly felt it. <laughs> He's lucky he caught me off guard. Why would he, why would he be off Keep guard? Keep on him, Ralph. I'm going to take a look around. All righty. Let's look into this drawer he was so desperate to look in. What do we got? What are these dates? Maybe his... His, uh, workers? Floyd Rose. List of names in a series of numbers. Floyd Rose's name is in this book. See the guy that was murdered? Phelps, we can come out of this all bright and shiny with a commendation. Or stick our schlongs in a hornet's nest. Call it in, partner. And leave the book where you found it. Can you stop getting pissy with me? Jeez, I don't like it. Officer him. Phelps, badge 1247, requesting. So we are calling it in. <laughs> Backstory? You dumb 
fucking sons of bitches. Get in this line now before I lose my temper. Excuse me, Sergeant, but... Excuse me? Fuck you. You say another word and I'll break your fucking head and have you in the brig. Some of us are here for... I know why you're here, asswipe. I'm having a bad day, Private. Some people don't seem to want to get on this bus. Didn't ask for your help. He didn't ask for your help. Can you believe this guy? Who are you two? Abbott and Costello? We're here for OCS, Sergeant. So it's the three fucking stooges and you're here for OCS. God help this fucking country in the USMC. The Japanese will do the world a favor and kill you quickly. All three of you are on report. What are your fucking names? Phelps. Kelso. Merrill. Any other gentlemen for OCS? OCS is at Elliot. You take the Camp Elliot bus over there. This bus is for MCRD. This bus is for men who want to fight. Well, are all right then, sir. Armed and dangerous. Well, you picked the right place, Cole. A city that needed an honest cop like a thirsty man needed water. You'd heard the stories, but you weren't interested. You were here to fight the good fight, solve cases, right wrongs. The force is like politics. There's no city on the fence. You have to choose sides. A brown paper envelope or a Greyhound ticket to Palookaville. It could only ever end one way. All units at 211 in progress and shots fired at Westlake Savings and Loan. 1415 West 3rd Street. Unit to handle identifying code 3. Another shooting? Take that. It's only a couple blocks from 14 here. Adam calling KGPL. We'll handle the 211. Roger that, 14 Adam. Be advised, suspects are armed and dangerous. Roger, KGPL. God, I can't even imagine doing this for them. All right, we're off. Subdue robbery suspects. All righty. On the job again. All righty, here we are, guys. Oh, my God. Shit! Oh, we got weapons. Here we go. Try for the front door. Keep your goddamn head down. Use the cover, Phelps. All right, got you. R1 cover. We don't know how many are in there. Take it slow. All right, all right, got you. We'll be here soon. LAPD, put down your weapons. The bank is surrounded. I'm offering you a chance to. Kill a cop, and it's the electric chair. Cool. Let's go, boys. Come on. Oh, my hat, bitch. Stay down. Your. Nobody's Ooh. That's it? We got them all? I think we got them, Cole. Should be all clear. Shit. Get into it. Lieutenant My hat's Hopkins gone. Says anytime you reach for the shotguns, you're either going to end up dead or wearing a citation. So I guess... It's okay, Ralph. You did well in there. I'm glad you had my back. Man couldn't ask for a better partner. Oh. Although he is kind of... I don't know how I feel about him. He's being really mean to us just a while ago, but... I guess he was just giving me an attitude. Something tells me he's gonna get in our get in our way a little bit. This kind of opportunity comes along once in a lifetime, Hank. <laughs> I have to grasp it. You have to survive at first, Cole. Here are the veterans. The Japs love to shoot officers. If I can make a name for myself in this war, my future. Thinking of taking on a company of the Emperor's finest single-handed? You don't seem the Sergeant York type to me. When I need your opinion, Kelso, I'll ask for it. They talk about officers like you in boot camp, Cole. They call it the Custer Syndrome. Guys who go around dreaming of fame and glory and getting all of their men killed in the process. Our duty is to lead, Kelso. And their duty is to die for your wonderful future? Should have been friends, but their personalities got in the way. Ah. Phelps, a good guy, wound way too tight. And Kelso, a quiet man who could never walk away from a fight. Well, 
Well, it's a shame you don't like to talk about it, Cole. Ralph, friends who want to stay friends don't discuss religion or politics. And in my case, you can add the war to that. I know that bum. Wendell Bowers. I put him away before he jumped parole. Get after him, Phelps. I'll head him off in the car. Oh, my God. All right. Wendell Bowers, stop. LAPD. You can go screw yourself. Come here, bitch. Why are you running? How do I jump? Oh, run forward. Okay. He's hiding in the alley. Come here. Powers, hold it right there. Get him, get him, get him. Stop now or I will shoot. Come on. I won't tell you again, Wendell. Jesus, Doug, watch your fire. Oh, no, 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 no. Go, go, go. I didn't realize. I could just hold up. Come on. Up, 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 up. Where is he? Give it up, Wendell. Stay the hell away from me. Damn. All these guys can freaking hardcore parkour up in here. <laughs> oh, I'm too old for this. Go away. I'm going back inside. I've done my time. Oh, shit. You assholes already screwed me once. Oh shit! Oh my god, man! Some hoop, some superhero Give shit. Up, Bowers. There's nowhere left to go. Oh! Come on. Looks like we've got the place to ourselves. Oh, let's go, bitch. How you like it? Hmm? Hmm? Oh! He's out, boys. How you doing, Wendell? Your parole officer's feeling lonely. He's got a hole in his life for an asshole like you. You can make it up to him in 10 years' time. Watch your head. <laughs> this hump will be back in the Iron Hotel by tomorrow night. Nice work, Cole. You run track in high school? <laughs> Part of the tradition of the Marine Corps and being an officer in the Marine Corps is the ability to make tough decisions. The right decision is not always the popular one. The right decision will get the men you care about killed. These ratings and your ability to give them frankly and truthfully directly affect your chances of successfully becoming a Marine officer. Candidate Phelps, you have the floor. Esprit de Corps, Merrill, 10. Franklin, 8. Weiss, eight. Donahoe, six. Kowalski, six. Hudson, five. Kelso, two. Leadership, Donahoe, eight. Franklin, seven. Merrill, six. Kowalski, six. Damn, his Weiss, friends at the very five. bottom. Hudson, five. Kelso, one. Candidate Kelso. I'm sorry, Captain, but I joined the Marine Corps to fight the enemy, not get involved in this schoolboy chicken shit. Kelso, in my office, now. Oh. For every cop, there's the case that makes you. Gives you that leg up. Gets you recognized as the shining new star in the squad. The case that you solve that shows that you have the gumption, the gung-ho, the get-up-and-go to make you stand out from your average rank-and-file patrolman. This could be the one goal. I love the narration. What's going on? LAPD, could you stand clear of the body, please? Has anyone called an ambulance? We've called an ambulance and the police, but I'm afraid he's dead. Okay, stand further back and move along. It's your choice, but make it quick, people. Hey, Cole. You got here quick. My beat crosses 7th Street. Okay. Your first reporting, then. We'll get a perimeter going and move the crowd on. You better see what you can find out before the homicide dicks show up. I'll be with you in a moment. All right, X examine the body. Everybody stay back, let us do our job. Broad daylight, a crowded street. Now I've seen everything. Am I missing something? Bam. 
Bank of Arcadia. Apartment. Pearl earrings. Two, two bucks. C. Galetta. Layaway receipt. Pearl earrings. Galetta. Made out to Bank of Arcadia. your sass, bitch. Alright, I think I got everything. With him, at least. Do I need to look in here? We should make sure we've checked the whole crime scene before questioning the witness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, can, I, can I help you, sir? Hold on, ma'am. I'm looking around first. Oh, I'm or not. <laughs> Miss, I'm here about the shooting. Did you know the victim? my boss mr. gage mr. gage's first name Everett and you are Galleta Clovis Galleta nervous okay interviews are conducted using a notebook eyewitness accounts view evidence witness details are entered on the left shoe store clerk eyewitness to murder of Everett Gage She looks upset. <laughs> um, Do you think you could tell me exactly what happened, miss? I look around the shops at lunch. I was in a store when Mr. Gage, my boss, bursts in yelling that I'm late on my lunch. And? We came back. I was angry. I walked in front. I heard shots. I turned and saw Mr. Gage fall. <laughs> Dude, this is hard. To accuse a witness, you will need to present evidence. Press triangle to accuse the witness. You're lying, Miss Coletta. You know what happened and why. You're going to tell me. There's nothing to tell. I've done nothing wrong. How can you prove different? Your pearl earrings, Miss Galetta. You've been paying for them for a whole year. Stop lying and tell me what happened at the jewelry store. Oh, God. I won't lose the earrings, will I? You could lose your freedom, you little fool, if you don't stop obstructing a murder investigation. Mr. Kalu. Edgar Kalu. He runs the jewelry store. He's showing me a lovely watch. Mr. Gage bursts in. Mr. Kalu gets very angry with Mr. Gage, and they start yelling at each other. Mr. Gage tells me that all of the things in the store are junk, nickel-plated, made in Japan, and yells at me to get back to work. Then what happened? We get back here, and I hear a loud bang. Mr. Gage clutches at his back. I hear another bang, and another, and another. Mr. Gage falls to his knees. It looked very painful. Hmm. So I can ask her. How many shots shooting? did you hear, Miss Galetta? It's difficult to remember. It sounded like there were so many, and they were so loud. If you think the witness is sincere, choose good cop. Press X to act as a good cop. All right. 
Good cop. <laughs> or bad cop. I need you to concentrate, Miss Galetta. Even minor details can become important later on. Well, there was one bang. And then another. And then three very quickly close together. Five. All right, an impossible murder. Which jewelry store? Hartfields. Broadway between 5th and 6th. Did you see the person who shot Mr. Gage? Of course I did. Mr. Callow looked very angry. He kept firing the gun. He kept pulling the trigger. He threw the gun in a bin and turned and walked away. If you think the witness is lying, but you lack proof, choose bad cop. Square to act as a bad cop. You're making me angry, Miss Galetta. Is that what you want? Tell me why Mr. Kalu shot Mr. Gage. Mr. Gage hates Jews. A lot of people do. It's not my fault if he has nice things. Wow. Thank you for your help, ma'am. You've been very brave. All right, well, we got three out of three correct. Need you to make a formal but statement the game about totally walked me through that. Does that mean I can still collect my... My... Rank increase. Never mind. You're damn for game. Yes, officer, I'll make a statement. Earrings. All right, spin intuition points at any location to detect clues. Detect clues will be marked on the map, making them easier to find. Now, the music is still going here. Am I... Oh. What is this? Not everything here is going to be relevant. All right, so we don't need this then. No shoes. Oh, there it is. She said he dropped it in the bin. I was like, I know, like the music's still going. I'm missing something. Here we go. FN Browning, serial number zero one one three eight. Might need to run and buy a gun store. Eagleson's gun store is a couple blocks from here. All right. Yes. We have the murder weapon. And the murderer. The girl saw it all. Our killer works at a jewelry store called Hartfields. That's a couple of blocks from here. Thinking what I'm thinking? Tate, maintain the perimeter. Oh, what is that? Something shining? Shell casings. These look like 32s. And there's five. One, two, yeah, there's five. Alrighty, I think we've got everything. The music seems to have stopped. The only thing that keeps going off is... this guy, but I think we've done everything we can with him. Alright, let's get in the vehicle. In we go. And jewelry store. Right, are we gonna go to the... Maybe we go to the gun store first? Yeah, maybe, maybe we'll go to the gun store first. Let's do that. Eagle Sons Gun Store, 2.36 p.m. Let's have a chat with the guy here. Officers, what can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir, Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple of weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. Kalu. Oh. Edgar Kalu was there his There you go. I think it looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield's jewelry store just up on Broadway. Thanks for your help. All right. Well, we know for sure now that it was... It was him. All right, now. 
We go to his his house. Sorry, not his house. The jewelry store. There we go. Here we are, guys. Hartfield Jewelry Store 236. Question Edgar Kalu. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Is there a way I can look around? I don't think I need to look around. Let's just. So. Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Yep, 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 I got him. I got him. I got him. Oh, bitch, I already knew he was fucking lying the way he was Kalu, moving. Get back here. Come here, boy. That damn bus. You're not getting away, dude. Just give up. Too late, Kalu. Come on, tackle, tackle him, tackle him, tackle him, tackle him. Yeah! Got him. Oh, I can't see! I wanna see him! I wanna see him get beat up! <laughs> Edgar Kalu, you're under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. That's so weird. How do you murder someone then go back to your normal life like it you. didn't happen? In the case that breaks you. <laughs> like the cops the you aren't gonna saw. find you, like really? The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what-ifs, the might-have-beens, the half-leads, and the half-truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? You're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal cunning, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Oh God. Yes, sir. Oh God. I think I am. I'm Good nervous. Man. You need many things for a conviction, young Phelps. A motive, opportunity, hard evidence, and best of all, a confession. If you fail in the former, you can always use a modicum of violence to obtain the latter. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring me a confession, young Phelps. This is your chance. Don't fail me. I got you. All right, bitch. Drink your coffee. Has my lawyer arrived yet? I want to see my lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. Okay, let's review the evidence. Shooting. Keep your evidence in mind during an interview in order to identify false statements. Okay. Accusing with incorrect evidence will hurt your credibility and make the witness more uncooperative. I'm nervous. Okay, fatal sidewalk shooting incident one male victim. Alrighty. I went over my evidence. I think I'm ready to talk to him. You followed Everett Gage and the girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a, was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Careful use of tuition can lead to breakthroughs. Um, accuse... You shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. Oh, 
<laughs> we know all about the argument. Ms. Galletta made a statement. You're, you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up in court? You're going to the gas chamber, Edgar. That Jew-hating fuck couldn't leave me alone. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Let's change the subject. You fasting for Yom Kippur, Mr. Kalu? Yeah, let's change the subject, you going motherfucker. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. This is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. You left-wing oh my God. parasite. You expect me to sit here and listen to your drivel? You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher? You and that stump Gage! Why did you do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the Chamber of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu. I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. All right, I think we did good. I respect your Too beliefs correct. and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake, the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. All right, I feel pretty good. I'm sure it's gonna get harder, but <laughs> I'm freaking nervous. Masterfully done, Officer Phelps. It is just Officer Phelps, isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the chief of police, young folks. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. Mm hmm? All right. Moving on up in the world. Hell yeah. I like this. This is fun. Yeah, pass. Police officer's finest report. Your actions have earned you a promotion. Prepare for reassignment. Oh. Hell yeah. Driver's seat. So what are we getting promoted to? Look at us in our suit. All fancy. Oh, detectives. We're gonna be a detective. Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. Hello. Well, about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. <laughs> I'm here to learn, detective. <laughs> He's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? Who's intense? The newly minted detective here, Cole Phelps. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory, make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. <laughs> Who was that, Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. Do they all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. I hope he's cool. I don't want to have to hate him. Now some <laughs> housekeeping. Warm Central Division welcome for Detective Cole Phelps. The new kid. Some of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with you, That's sir. That's an order, Phelps. Uh, uh, Ooh, okay. shh, shh, quiet, everybody. <laughs> Way to put me on the Phelps spot. Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. Really gave it those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why you war heroes always so modest? I've partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, <laughs> can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside and out. I'm going to start you out with one case. You do okay? I'll give you a couple more. 
You screw up, you'll be rousing vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the P.E. Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, Phelps. Oof, this is intimidating. Can you imagine being in this position? All right. Investigate. P.E. Freight Depot. Abandoned vehicle. They really pushed you through quick, didn't they? Six years on patrol before I got this desk. You were here in five minutes. What do you want me to say? I didn't ask for any favors. Mm, out we go. Ooh, nice you car. You know this place? I heard he's not. Sure. Near the old gas works and signal depot in the warehouse district. I'll direct. All right, guys. I think I'm going to go ahead and end the episode there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't yet. Check out all the links down in the description if you're interested in any of the gear I use. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.